what is happening people so today i wanted to do a video to talk about this whole thing going on with p diddy um and the raids in his house um or houses if you will and also i want to talk about a few things uh, with the lawsuits that are going to be going on with the, that have gone on with p diddy so far so just to give you context of the, the stuff that's going on and how do we get here so the first thing i want to show you is this really quick clip here um which is really interesting check it out Number two of rapper sean diddy combs homes were raided in connection to a federal human trafficking investigation his attorney is now accusing the government of a witch hunt new tmz photos show the moment federal agents confronted diddy at a Miami as you can see there's like a crazy raid basically that just happened um and it's it's very you know it just wasn't expected i mean obviously we knew things were going on with p diddy but it, you know, once it once they send in the feds you know that's when the things it's that's when stuff gets serious so you know that's one of the things that we wanted to show uh to break it down here but also this guy over here um let's see if i can find him over here i had him um he apparently uh is basically diddy's mule over here and so he's the guy that brings the stuff in if you know what i mean so pretty crazy stuff if you think about it i want to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel uh, give us a like uh, on this video um and you know definitely use the, the little notification bell because we're going to be having a lot of updates about this stuff as we get more information of course but um to continue with this video definitely want to show you this part of it here the different um lawsuits that are going on or that, that have gone on in the past with diddy and this is the rodney um jones versus sean combs and it gives you some some insight i'm going to put a link on this on the uh, at the bottom of this video so you can see um so you can actually see the full list because i know there's a lot to take in there's a lot to read and if i was going to read everything in here it'd be a lot of stuff to read but basically it's a record producer from chicago who filed a 105 page federal complaint against combs accusing him and the police to work with him and uh, basically being a part of an illegal racketeering enterprise. So this is, I believe this, is, this loss is a little bit old. It's, um, this was it recently um, in February. So technically it's not that old. Then there's that, I, I don't wanna give you guys the response. It's all here, I'm gonna put the link on it. Um, and then there's this one over here, the Jane Doe versus Sean Combs. Um, alleging, you know, gang, you know what? I don't wanna say it. Um, and uh, definitely the T, the, the S and T word, if you know what I mean, right over here. Um, by Combs, former president of Bad Boys Records. Lots of crazy stuff, if you think about it. Then you got the Cassie, Cassandra, um, versus Sean Combs. We all know that uh, everything that, that went down with that. She basically got $100,000 or $100 million, something like that. It was a really um, large amount of money that she was able to get back. Um, from P. Diddy, so that's pretty much making this dude broke. Now, Lisa Gardner here, this is another part over here that we're not talking about here. Um, so it's another lawsuit um, where there was forced um, S word, if you know what I mean. Again, I'm not gonna use these terms here on YouTube because YouTube tends to ban everything that you put when it comes to this stuff, so I'm gonna try to be a little brief about it. Um, obviously, there's gonna be the links in the bottom, like I said, you're gonna be able to look at it and see the information. Um, then there's jo Joy Dinkinson, Dinkinson, I can't say that word right, um, and Sean Combs' um, situation going on here. Um, again, another similar thing. Uh, she claimed that they were out drinking and uh, he did the you know, deed to her. Then there was even a SEX tape. I mean, really crazy stuff. I don't want to get into it, like I said, because of the um a lot of the words that are here are, are banned um on youtube and you got to be careful uh, not to say about these things but so there's there's that part of it going on but there's also some stuff going on as well with um the homeboy um well first of all there's this part of it here with 50 cent which um is pretty interesting here he said you moved this is basically talking about um 50 cents baby, baby mama basically where he's saying you moved a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me but I was busy so you moved back and then you started receiving money from brother love meaning P Diddy apparently this girl she's also being put in she's also part of a case here so this is you know there's just so much stuff going on with P Diddy 
So again, I want you guys to like this channel, um, subscribe to the channel. I mean, like this video, leave us a comment below. What do you guys think about this? Um, you know, let's have a discussion about P Diddy. What do you think about the stuff going on? Of course, um, we always love to, to uh, you know, respond to the comments. So um, if you have anything to say, definitely tell us about it and what do you think about this stuff? Um, you know, did you expect this stuff to happen? I kind of did, to be honest with you, because I knew there was a lot of stuff going on with, with, with um, Brother Love, if you know what I mean. And so it, it was kind of expecting, expect, we kind of expected this to happen, basically, because he just, you know, he was doing so much shady stuff that, you know, it was bound to happen. So um, there's that part over here. Then there was something else that I wanted to show about. It was that group that he had, which um, I believe it was, you see, this is like every celebrity here that basically warned people about uh, P. Diddy's behavior. Obviously, we have Cassie here. I don't want to play this video, this video because it's gonna probably give me like a copyright strike. But there's Cassie here, the different faces of her with Diddy. Um, then there was somebody else that I saw here. Was this girl here. Ward alleging instances of abuse. Diddy's ex-girlfriend Gina Hunt said in a 2019. So his ex-girlfriend Gina Hunt um, said some stuff as well. Um, let's see against Diddy, however, her revealing more about Diddy's as he filed her lawsuit against Diddy. And after this week's raid, previous celeb even um celebrity interview even though, Usher looks like he's involved with this stuff. I mean, it's the craziest thing ever, honestly. And uh, let's see, there was something else here. Again, like I said, I don't want to put this full video because I may get a copyright for doing this. Um, so you also have um, that O'Day chick, whatever her name is. Um, is that uh, Ashley O'Day, something like that? Got to say, 14 years old. A member of a girl group previously found. Send your kid to puppy camp. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Meanwhile, a member of a girl group previously founded and managed by Diddy also spoke out after Diddy's homes were raided by federal agents. On Monday, Aubrey O'Day, who was a... Aubrey O'Day, that's her name. I couldn't think of her name for some reason. Yeah, she was part of that group from back in the day, the um, Danny Kane, I think it was. It was a group that P. Diddy um, created or, you know, or managed or whatever. She's basically said some stuff about P. Diddy that... It's not in his favor. So there's a lot of stuff. This is the group over here back in the day. Um, honestly, I don't really know their music, but I, I did hear, I have heard about them. Um, I think there was somebody else. Too. Oh, even Mace right here. Mace also Find said some stuff. Records in the 90s and the early 2000s. You know, they have some tracks together. Turned down Mace's offer to buy back his publishing for two. So there's that. Who else? I know there was somebody else too. Oh, and of course, you know, Fitty, you know, of course, you can't, you know, Fitty definitely said some stuff before, and we talked about it earlier um, with the baby mama and everything, so we're going to skip a little bit on Fitty because there's a lot. Oh, yeah, Cat Williams said some stuff too. Um, I thought that was somebody else. I don't know who this guy is here. I should know who that is, but I don't know who that is. And you gotta tell him no to the raid. Music producer Rodney Jones Jr. Oh, yeah, yeah, the music producer Rodney Jones. I don't really know him to be honest with you, so I don't want to say. But even he had something to say about this whole stuff. Um, what about this, I think I'm showing a photo of Cuba Gooding Jr. Directed to possible drugging and rape, ritual humiliation, and being cheated out of more than fifty thousand dollars for work on Diddy's album. The suit also names actor Cuba Gooding Jr. Okay, so it's just talking about it's just gonna talk about um, uh, other other actors like Cuba Gooding Jr. Of course. So you know, let me know what you guys think about this stuff. Um, what's the deal? Is P Diddy gonna go to jail? Is he gonna be another R. Kelly? Yeah, you know, I think he's gonna be the next guy. Uh, there's a lot of conspiracy theories, of course, going around about Diddy. I don't really want to talk about them here, but. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, is he going to be going to prison for a long time? Is he going to get 30 years like uh, R. Kelly? Or maybe even longer. I mean, he's still kind of young, so he still has some time left. So, um, definitely, we'll see you all in the next video.